you're welcome to another video lesson today this is yek 2021 physics practical question on optics or light so you can pause and take a good look at the questions meanwhile may i remind you that yek has a way of tweaking or changing the way the question might appear finally that notwithstanding if you can be able to follow through all i'm going to show you you will be successful in your exams so let's go ahead this is educational world all right in this practical we are provided with a ray box a meter rule a lens of 15 mm focal length a screen and a lens holder so the first thing we are going to do now is to measure the distance or the size of the pinhole of the ray balls we're going to measure the size measuring the diameter of the aperture gives us 13.0 millimeters the next thing we are going to do is to set up the apparatus as shown okay and measure the distance of the ray box from the lens to be 30 cm then we adjust the position of the screen until a clear image is formed on the screen okay so we are adjusting the position of the screen now so that a clear image can be seen on the screen okay a clear image has been shown on the screen all right i am reducing the brightness of my camera so you can see the clear image formed so we are going to measure the diameter or the size of that image formed on the screen okay so measuring the diameter of the image formed on the screen we have the value to be 21.0 millimeters the value is 21.0 millimeters so we take it down so we move to our table of values so when u is 30.0 cm a is 21.0 mm magnification which is a over ao is 1.62 and the inverse is 0.62 all right so we now adjust the position of the lens and the lens holder to a distance of 35 cm so once we've done that we will adjust the position of the screen again until a very clear image is formed all right okay so we just adjust it and when the clear image is formed we measure the diameter or the size of that image okay so with the help of a ruler i will measure the size of the image formed fourteen point zero millimeters so we go to our table of values when you is 35.0 cm a 14.0 mm the magnification is 1.08 and the inverse is 0 0.93 so the same thing goes we have to adjust the position of the lens holder to a distance of 40 centimeters after doing that we go ahead to adjust the position of the screen so that a clear image is formed on the screen meanwhile if you find this video informative and educative i would simply like you to hit the subscribe button okay and share to your friends so measuring the diameter of the image here okay the value is 11.0 millimeters okay so we go to a table of values where u is 40.0 cm a is 11.0 mm the magnification is 0 
and the inverse is 1.18. The same thing goes, the practical is a very simple one. We now adjust the position of the lens and the lens holder to a distance of 45 cm. After doing that, we adjust the position of the screen such that a clear image is formed on the screen. All right. Okay. And after doing that, you must be careful that a very clear image is formed with little or no blur. All right. So we measure the diameter of the image formed. All right. And after doing that, we have 9.0 mm. So, in our table of values now, when U is 45.0 cm, A is 9.0 cm. The magnification is 0 0.7 and the inverse is 1.43. Okay, so lastly, we adjust the position of the lens and lens holder to a distance of 50 cm from the ray box and adjust the position of the screen such that a clear image is formed on the screen all right then after that we simply go ahead and measure the size of the image formed it's a very simple practical one of the simplest all right so the value we have there is 7.5 so in our table of values when u is 50.0 a is 7.5 the magnification is 0 0.58 and the inverse of magnification is 1.72 so we go to our graph plotting we are plotting the graph of the inverse of m against u all right so and the scale used here the scale is 2 cm to represent 0 0.5 units on the vertical axis and 1 cm to represent 10 units on the horizontal axis Refer to my video on how to plot maths and physics graphs for a lesson on how to choose your scale. So we move straight to plotting the points. So when u is 30, m inverse is 0 0.62. We mark out the points. When u is 35, m inverse is 0 0.93. We mark out the points. When u is 40.0 centimeters, the inverse of m is 1.18 we mark out the point when u is 45.0 the inverse of m is 1.43 we mark out the points as well and lastly when u is 50 centimeters the inverse of m is 1.72 we also mark out the points all right as you can see Okay, now we are going to join these points with a very straight line. Okay, that's line of best fit. Okay, all right, so that's the graph. All right, so that's it. And as you can see, the graph cuts the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. So the slope of the graph now, we take any convenient right angle triangle of our choice, we draw it out on the slope on the graph there. And read off the values to the axis. All right. So the slope is gotten by change in the value of the vertical axis over change in the horizontal axis. And the two points I have there in the vertical axis is 1.72 minus 0 0.25 divided by change in u, which is 50 minus 23. Simplifying the values, I have 1.47 divided by 27, which gives me 0.054 per cm. Take note of the unit. The unit is very important in physics practicals, all right? The intercept C on the vertical axis is at minus 1.0, as you can see on the graph at this point. All right? Now, the next thing we are asked is the value of u for which m inverse is 0. And that is at 0.18 cm. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. 
spread the word and come back if this video was helpful thank you for watching